As we have covered in the past, there has been a growing sentiment amongst archaeologists across North America that the Smithsonian Institute has been at the center of a large number of cover-ups when it comes to the impossible to explain artifacts found across Native American burial grounds and the true history of Native American tribes and their origins into the Americas. Additionally, overwhelming evidence for such cover-ups can be found in the hundreds of news reports made by reputable news sources over the last 22 decades, with archaeological reports dating as far back as the early 1800s. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five more of these reported archaeological findings of giant humanoid skeletons found across the entirety of North America that the Smithsonian has been trying to cover up since its establishment. The Potomac River Giant, The Morning Herald, May 14, 1956 Considered to be the most recent evidence of an unearthed giant humanoid skeleton, the Potomac River Giant article re reported by the Morning Herald newspaper features the story of a recovered humanoid skeleton approximately 7 to 8 feet in height and believed to have been born over 2,000 years ago, located near the Potomac River. The article, published on the 14th of May back in 1956, covers in detail the discovery of the giant skeleton, the excavations that took place, the location of the discoveries for future archaeologists and researchers to revisit the sites for possible returning expeditions. Interestingly enough, the article itself explains that many of the researchers working on the discovery believed the large humanoid skeleton to have been an Algonquian Indian a Native American tribe that even to this day have average heights several inches taller than the average world population. The article is quoted in its entirety, saying, The skeleton of a giant Indian, maybe seven or more feet in height, who died and was buried about the time Christ was born, has been unearthed from prehistoric burial grounds along the Potomac River near Point of Rocks recently. Nicholas Yinger, who has been excavating at this, and other sites of early Indian villages along the Potomac River in recent years, discovered the skeleton of the giant Indian, along with other artifacts buried with the body, on Saturday, April 28th, just a few weeks ago. Mr. Yinger said that apart from the huge size of the Algonquian Indian, the next most interesting thing about the remains is that the bow and quiver of five arrows were buried with the body. Two elk antlers and three and one-half inch arrow points in the center of the tibias are part of the quiver of arrows. Near the point of the antler arrows is a perfect boiled bone fishhook revealing his fishing line was also placed with the body. Three large white flint triangular arrowheads were found at the side of the left tibia. This aborigine must have been a hunter with great strength, as is indicated by the broad shank flint points used in a powerful bow, explained Yinger. Today, there is no known humanoid Algonquian Indian skeleton measuring 7 to 8 feet in height, and there is no evidence of specially made bows and arrows that would point to the possibility of a person capable of inhuman levels of strength. Any further information surrounding the article leads to dead ends, and next to no one can follow up on the skeletal discoveries made by Mr. Nicholas Yinger. The Ancient Burial Ground at Black Creek, Charlois, Mail, May 7, 1953 As is common in nearly all of the articles that feature the discovery of impossible-to-explain giant humanoid skeletons, the eight-foot-tall Black Creek, Charlois, Mail skeleton was discovered at the center of an ancient burial ground located along the Susquehanna River of Indiana County in Pennsylvania. According to Harrisburg Museum, a team of researchers uncovered 49 full skeletons that were of extraordinary height and were reassembled at the Harrisburg Museum. Unfortunately, Harrisburg Museum reported that despite shipping all of the skeletons to the Smithsonian for further study, the Smithsonian claimed they never received the skeletons and had no knowledge as to the validity of their existence. The article is quoted as directly saying, Along the Susquehanna River in Indiana County, Pennsylvania, a major Indian burial site was uncovered. Altogether, 49 skeletons were exhumed, the tallest being 8 feet tall. These skeletons were reportedly taken to the Harrisburg Museum for reassembly and then shipped to the Smithsonian for further study. However, the Smithsonian denies any knowledge of them. 
on the site of the William H. Rear Farm, circa 1871-1880, in Conemau Township just west of the mouth of Blacklegs Creek, skeletons of men, probably Indians, were found. Noted local historian Clarence Stevenson says, One of the skeletons is of a giant, nearly eight feet tall. The giant skeleton measured 89 inches from the top of the skull to the phalanges of the feet. It was covered with small stones, laid on the back and measured 26 inches across the chest. The Black Creek discovery is one of the many articles that conspiracy theorists point to as evidence of an active cover-up made by the Smithsonian, going so far as to discredit the popular Harrisburg Museum to continue pushing a misinformation agenda on the true history of North America. Author Richard Dewhurst describes in his archaeological novel surrounding the possibility of giant humanoids that the Smithsonian has adopted direct policies to cover up any findings that contradict their original doctrine. Richard Dewhurst writes the following quote, After the Civil War, the Smithsonian began to adopt a policy of excluding any evidence of direct foreign influence in the Americas prior to Columbus. Some have argued that it was an attempt by the fractured post-Civil War government to downplay any regional and ethnic conflicts in the still fragile national rebuilding after the war. Others have pointed to the expansionist policies incorporated in the doctrine of manifest destiny and the desire to obscure the origins of the tribes being displaced and annihilated by westward expansion. Still others have alleged that it was a direct religious policy adapted to counter the growing problem with the Mormon religion and its assertions that the lost tribes of Israel were to be found in America. Could Harrisburg's findings be direct evidence of this cover-up? Report of 68 skeletons averaging 7 feet tall, Charleston Daily Mail, September 20th, 1916. Many critics surrounding the claims of recovered giant humanoid skeletons have often remarked that many of the researchers and excavators surrounding these peculiar skeletal discoveries are often amateur or paid day labourers who do not have an extensive education on skeletons. Believing that many of these large humanoid skeletons are merely normal human skeletons that were reassembled incorrectly. Interestingly enough, a fairly recent discovery made by the professor of American Indian Museum near Sayre, Pennsylvania dispels this critique, as the professor himself remarked at the strange size of skeletons that were recovered at the Tioga Point Mound back on the 13th of July of 1916. The finding was reported by the Charleston Daily Mail of Sayre, Pennsylvania and included a short detail of the uncovering of 68 full skeletons that averaged 7 to 8 feet in height and were believed to have been buried together in a large Indian burial mound estimated to have been between 700 and 800 years old. The article is quoted as saying, On July 13th, Professor Skinner of the American Indian Museum, excavating the mound at Tioga Point near Sayre, Pennsylvania, and covered the bones of 68 men, which he estimates had been buried at least seven or eight hundred years ago. The average height indicated by the skeletons was seven feet, but many were taller. Evidence of the gigantic size of these men was seen in huge axes found beside the bones. The giant eight feet seven inches tall unearthed, Ohio Science Annual, 1898. Another often cited critique against the recorded articles of giant humanoid skeletal discoveries is that many of the newspapers or articles recovered were made only by local agencies and businesses that may or may not have been a reputable source of information. This critique, however, is completely invalid after examining the written articles of the Ohio Science Annual Journal, published back in 1898 that also corroborated stories of giant unearthed humanoid skeletons that seemed to deny research at the time. According to one specific article, an archaeological discovery made near Rainersville in Morgan County, Ohio, uncovered an unmarked mound burial site that contained the single skeleton of a giant measured to have been 8 feet and 7 inches in height. The Ohio Science Annual article is quoted as saying, a rare archaeological discovery has been made near Rainersville in Morgan County, Ohio. A small knoll, which had always been supposed to be the result of an uprooted tree, was opened recently and discovered to be the work of mound builders. Just below the surrounding surface, a layer of boulders and pebbles was found. 
Directly underneath this was found the skeleton of a giant 8 feet 7 inches in height. Surrounding the skeleton were bone and stone implements, stone hatchets and other characteristics of the mound builders. The discovery is considered by the scientists as one of the most important ever made in Ohio. The skeleton is now in the possession of a Rainersville collector. Although the skeleton was believed to be in the possession of a private collector located out of Rainersville, no known skeletal discovery has been made public in the region, with no evidence of the skeleton to be found. The Big Whopper, 18 feet and counting. Although many believers in the ancient giants of North America deny the account specified here, it is still an interesting story to take note of. According to a newspaper article published in the 1870 edition of the Ohio Democrat newspaper, there was an account of a discovered 18-foot-tall humanoid skeleton that was found buried with a 9-foot-long sword that took up the length from the feet to the waist of the giant's remains. The article then claims that the skeleton was sent to New York for study. But what do you think of these impossible-to-explain giant humanoid skeletons discovered all across North America and inside ancient Indian burial mounds? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. And once again, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.